Why has summer and school reading gained such a negative reputation to high school kids? And what can be done to make reading for schools a more enjoyed activity? I don't like reading over school in summer because it's a waste of time. Why do you think it's a waste of time? I could do so much more better things. And reading, like Tom Sawyer, doesn't teach you anything. <laughs> um... If you were a teacher, would you give summer, um, summer reading and school reading? No. Why not? Because I can make them watch movies. You don't think that reading has something better than movies do? No. They can read on their own time if they want to. In contrast to what Jules was saying, an article published on the New York State Library states that summer reading is essential to the growth of youth. They came to the conclusion that having access to books prevents falling behind in education. They propose that a solution to the lack of motivation to read is providing access to libraries such as their own and promoting the knowledge they have to offer. Do you actually do your summer reading? No. Yes. Do you like reading, reading for school and over the summer? Yes. No. no. <laughs> if, you, if, you were te- no. <laughs> if you were a teacher, would you give summer reading? No. Yes. Why? To prevent loss of learning over the summer. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Does your child having to do summer reading affect the way you plan vacations? No. Would you prefer your child to have to do summer reading, or do you see it as something that they could do without? No, I prefer them to have summer reading. Why would you prefer it? It keeps their mind active. Do you think your child benefits from the assigned summer reading? Yes. If you were a teacher, what would you do to make summer reading more beneficial and enjoyable? I would have them select three books and have those those books be the ones that they read. But it's their choice. Did you like summer school reading when you were growing up? You know, I don't think we did summer reading when I was in high school. Why did you think that your students did not like summer and school reading? So why do they not like summer reading? Yes, sir. Um, I think that they don't see a connection between the reading and what they, either what they did in the spring or what they're gonna do in the fall. Or a lot of students think that the summer is time to take a break from school, so they don't they don't want schoolwork to intrude. What do you what do you think that could be done to make reading more enjoyable to kids? Um, for summer reading, I think you know, we try to choose things that are going to be uh, relevant to what they're going to be studying the following year, and at the same time, try to find things that are going to be engaging and then address all of that in the spring before students go away over the summer. Yes, sir. After talking with numerous sources and collecting information from the New York State Library, we came to the conclusion that reading for school has many improvements to be made so that high schoolers can more positively view forced reading. Lack of motivation and pressure negatively affects students' will to do summer reading assignments. They choose not to look to their future education and only see the burden of having to read. By promoting and providing access to books, kids have the freedom to read what they would like and hopefully they will take advantage of this easy access. Another solution would be for teachers to select books they would believe kids would enjoy reading. This can be taken a step further and allow kids to completely pick what they would like to read with guidelines. While it is not true that every high schooler does not enjoy reading for school, there are improvements that can be made to awaken more kids to the benefits of furthering their education with summer and school reading.